Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss some Arduino project ideas. Without further ado, let's get started. Altium's a PCB design software that's both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all-new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. With Octopart, you can get real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. While talking of lasers, how can we not include this laser projector in our ideas list? After many trials and errors, Ben was finally able to come up with a design that could display messages up to a distance of 90 feet. To project the image, it uses a laser diode and an array of 12 mirrors, which is rotated using motors. It also includes a Bluetooth module that allows you to operate it using your smartphone from a safe distance. If you also want to shoot videos with stable and smooth movement, then check out this DIY camera robot. The setup can easily be installed over a tripod, and with a joystick controller, you can move the camera in any direction and record a smooth shot. All thanks to the precise movement of the stepper motors. The controller also has an auto mode, where you could set two positions, and the camera will move smoothly between them. Another great feature is the time-lapse mode, in which the camera moves a little bit in each shot. Looking for new ways to display messages, then this hologram orbiter might surprise you. It consists of two LED units that rotate at a very high speed to create a persistence of vision effect. Due to this, a visual image of the object appears in space, which can be viewed from any direction. All this is possible due to a motor and a commutator unit placed at the center that makes around 2400 revolutions per minute. With this, you can display pixel animations, pictures, texts, numbers, and much more. If you want to build an affordable stream deck, then check out this project. This deck consists of a multi-layer design. The bottom layer PCB consists of the Arduino and the SD card reader. Above it lies an LCD screen and a spacer insert. The top layer PCB consists of all the button inputs. This layer consists of six programmable keys and two rotary encoders. Each key has four parallelly connected push buttons, which register the input, irrespective of the key pressing direction. The transparent acrylic buttons are placed over this PCB, which is held in place by the top cover. Next on the list, we have the Wally robot. Professor Boots tried to build this one cute and tiny with the purpose of delivering gifts. He tried to keep the complete length below 10 centimeters, so he selected the components wisely. He also made sure that the storage compartment worked fine. It has two control modes. In the first mode, it moves randomly on its own and enjoys being free. The second is the Bluetooth mode, where you can control it using a smartphone. You can also customize the buttons for a specific task or a program sequence like this. You might have seen a line follower robot before, but was that one faster than this? Nope, the video's not fast forwarded, it's the actual speed of the robot. To start with, Ravi used only those components that were lightweight so that the overall weight of the bot was reduced. Next, he relied on the PID controller that was fast enough to keep the bot on the correct path. It works by regularly checking the robot's deviation from the mean position, and based on this error value, the steering value is calculated. The bot ran with a top speed of 1 meter per second. In the good old days, the ZX81 was considered a powerful computer, good enough for text outputs and a basic operating system. To try the same thing with an Arduino, Clem came up with a design where he used a small multiplexed keyboard and a 20 by 4 monochrome LCD screen. On the back layer, he used both MCUs and a surface mount package to save on space, 
along with a pair of battery holders and a power delivery circuitry. The 3D printed case on the outside gives the complete computer the retro look that he aimed for. Our next project is a prototype of the parking sensor. It measures the distance using an ultrasonic sensor, but with a twist. Instead of displaying the distance in numbers on an LCD screen, this one actually shows how far the object is from the sensor. In the setup, we can see three ultrasonic sensors, and the distance is visually shown on the small screen. The graphics are designed accordingly for different displays, and each one works perfectly. So which type of display would you like to use in your next project? Instead of letting someone else take a picture of your group, you can include this DIY photo booth in your next party. All you need is to stand in front of the screen and press this giant button. Upon pressing, it starts a countdown, and once complete, it displays the captured photograph on the monitor. The outer frame for the booth is made using wooden panels, and to cover up the rough edges, some 3D printed parts are used. The lower section contains all the electronics and a 23-inch monitor, while the upper portion holds the DSLR camera. After getting his hands on the new Arduino ESP32 board, Volos decided to make something new. First, he made a simple setup, where he varied the RGB parameters of his circular display. For this, he used three potentiometers, one for changing each color value, and the results were great. In the next setup, he used six push buttons to play the space shooter game. While playing, the round display gave him a better experience as compared to the square one. By the way, which one would you prefer? Tell us in the comments. This pocket-sized laser is built mostly of 3D printed parts and is controlled via Bluetooth. Instead of using a linear axis, this project uses a rotational axis to rotate the laser. This makes the design compact and simple. The laser module and mirror gimbals are mounted on a stand made of light aluminum so that the whole thing is suspended directly over a workpiece and the laser engraver can be safely operated from a smartphone from a distance. The steppers slew the mirror to raster the beam across the workpiece and burn a design. Number 1. This might look like a weird electronics project, but it's actually a 2-in-1 drink temperature monitor. When the cup is placed over the wooden base, the sensor reads the temperature and turns on between 1 and 5 LEDs depending on how hot it is. To measure the temperature without any contact, it uses an infrared sensor that's supported by a structure built from brass rods. These rods also act as the electrical connection between the sensor and the Arduino. Among all the drink temperature monitors, it's one of the most innovative and easy to use. What are your thoughts on this? If you usually forget to water the plants on time or are worried about water wastage, then this smart watering system can help. It's an all-in-one solution made by Giovanni that first checks the soil moisture and displays the data on a dashboard. From this data, the automation system calculates the time to open and close each value to water the plants, thus avoiding water wastage. All this data can be viewed on the dashboard and can be varied if necessary. In order to remotely control his telescope's cooling system, Michael relied on a home assistant. To make it work, he put two temperature sensors in the telescope. The first one is placed inside the mirror, while the other lies outside, sensing the ambient temperature. The home assistant compares both the temperature values and, based on the difference, it then turns the cooling system on and off. The smart dashboard makes it easy to track the performance all-in-one home automation system allows you to control your home appliances using a smartphone as well as an IR remote. To make it compact, it mainly uses SMD components soldered on a PCB. This makes it easier to place it behind your switchboard without requiring extra space. Irrespective of the controlling method, the status of the appliances can be monitored in real time on the app. 
It also remembers the last state of the lights and turns on only those appliances that were running before. Number 12. Though you can unlock a door using keys, why not make it smart and control it with a smartphone? In this project, Maxim used a servo motor that can open the door lock either using an HTTP request, MQTT control, or any other smart dashboard. The microcontroller is powered by an AC to DC converter that's attached to the top of the door. The lock can also be opened either using a physical push button. You can make your own smart home video doorbell using an ESP32 and a Raspberry Pi. It might look like a simple flat screen about the size of your phone, but it has a camera and doorbell function. When someone rings the doorbell with a press on the screen, it sends a picture of the person right to your phone. You can even change its appearance and make it the way you want it to look to fit your home design. Plus, it also comes with a home assistant to make your life easier. Altium's a PCB design software that's both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all-new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. With Octopart, you can get real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. Times it becomes frustrating while waiting for a mail or any parcel that you've ordered. And checking your mailbox again and again is not a practical option. In that case, you could use this mail monitoring system. As any package is dropped into your mailbox, a switch gets triggered. An ESP32 camera module will take a photo of the package, and that photo will be sent directly to your Telegram messenger. The resolution of the picture is fine, which will aid you in distinguishing which parcels arrived. If you're worried about feeding your pets when you're not around or are too far away, then this project can help. This feeder is powered by a motor that spins the auger to distribute the pet's food evenly into their bowl. Equipped with an ESP8266, the DIY pet feeder can be controlled from your phone. You only need to tap on the screen and this pet feeder will immediately roll out the food for your pets on the go. It seems quite simple, but there's so much to do to make this DIY feeder work. Number 6. If you're planning to build a DIY weather station, then make sure to take some notes from this project. You'll need a temperature, pressure sensor, and an enclosure to keep all of them safe. It gets the reading every 10 minutes and uploads that data over to a server called OceanBase. After that, all you need is an internet connection to check the readings on any mobile device, laptop, or computer. It can also keep track so now, let's discuss a way to turn your workbench smart. Lewis added LED cob lights to the corner of his wall that vary its color and pattern according to the status of the 3D printer. Whether it be a printing error or other notification, he doesn't have to look at the printer for updates. The LED notification takes care of it all. He also added the lights to the desk edges and underneath the shelf, which gives his complete workbench a superior look. If you're looking to fully automate your home using a single dashboard, then this project will help you. Using this project, you'll learn how to stream a live video on a Home Assistant platform, as well as control the status of various devices using the same platform. The stream starts to lag if a higher resolution selected, so try to keep the resolution low. The dashboard runs on a local area network, so make sure to connect each device to the same network. Lose your keychains a lot? Well, with this project, you can find them in a matter of seconds with the sound of a ringing buzz. This project needs an ESP8266 to connect to your phone, a buzzer to alert you, and a battery for it to function. So when a time comes, you lose your keys somewhere around your house, press the button on your phone, and the keychain finder immediately alerts you with a ring. It's a useful and practical project, which you can... Are you looking for a surveillance project at a very low price? Then under $10, you can make a surveillance camera using an ESP32 cam and a 3D printed frame. The camera itself detects the movement and does not require a PIR sensor. 
As the motion is detected, it notifies you with a message on the Telegram application. And if you have an internet connection, you could view the images and short footage of the intruder from anywhere and take necessary actions. With this project, your premises are secured, and that too.